Welcome to Excel and Finance video number 55. If you want to download this workbook for chapter 6 or our PDF for chapter 6, click on the link directly below the video and scroll all the way down to the Finance Excel class section. Hey, um, just a little bit of terminology here and then an example of a muni bond. At the federal level, uh, we have government bonds. Treasury bill, that's when the years are less than one, so use that term. Treasury note, usually between one and seven. Treasury bonds are other lengths. Uh, treasury debt, considered default free, no default risk. Of course, during the financial crisis of uh, 2007 to 2010 and all of the printing of money and all the debt that uh, the government is taking on maybe it's not quite so and the in view of the fact that some uh, European governments ca came close to default you know maybe people think it's uh, has a tiny bit but still considered default free taxed at the federal level only so uh, Treasury debt not the state highly liquid to the bondholder right so Treasury debt um, it, it, you can go out and sell it anytime you want, so highly liquid. Uh, municipal bond or munis, they're exempt from federal income tax, so we want to look at an advantage, right? If your tax bracket is 25% for federal income tax, so obviously you'd have to have a, a high tax rate to, to get uh, benefits from a muni. Would you prefer a 5% corporate bond or a 3.9% muni bond? See, the deal is you have to pay tax. So on this corporate bond, whatever interest, that's revenue coming in to you because you loaned uh, the money. So you get taxed on that, but a muni does not get taxed. So here's how you want to look at this. You want to say, hey, I'm going to compare this uh, muni, which is not going to be taxed, and I want to compare it to the 5% and we're going to go times 1 minus the tax rate, right? Because every $1 of revenue in the marginal tax rate is 25, so they'll take 25 cents. So it's in essence 0.75 times that rate and that gives you the uh, return you're actually getting. So then you compare these and you say, ah, oh, look, the muni is going to do better at a 25% tax rate than the 5% corporate bond. Let's go over to Excel and make this calculation. So the uh, after tax rate for the mini is just that rate right there. And this rate is going to be, hey, our 5% times 1 minus our tax rate. Better get a shift in there to get to that one. And so we compare them and boom, we can see, ah, we'd prefer the Muni. There it is. All right. We'll see you next video.